I'm on my uh, road trip to New York City to go see Caitlin, whose link I'll subscribe in the bottom. But um, so the sun's setting, and I thought I would, uh, you know, just do a little update on my way here, there, while I'm here. <laughs> I'm in Pennsylvania right now and it's pretty nice. It's really flat, more flat than I'm used to. Let me give you a little wrap around. Woo! See, there's not really many mountains. There we go. See how flat it is? There's a car lot to our left. I guess we're near uh, Waynesboro. I know there's a Waynesboro in Virginia, but I guess there's also one that's in uh, Pennsylvania. So I don't really have too much planned for this uh, trip. I just know I'm happy to be out of Virginia. I'm happy to be starting my goal this year of hitting up all the co states on the East Coast of the United States. And I think that one of the things that us American, especially in our age group, like, you know, well, I'm getting a little older, but like in their 20s and, you know, their late teens is that we think that we don't really do anything or what can we go do because we can't go to Europe or London or Italy. But if you take the distance from like London and Italy, I'm sure it's the same distance from New York City to Washington, D.C. Like it, it can't be that much of a difference. And I mean, we can do a lot in the United States and we don't need a passport. And there's so much things you can do, especially if you go out in the natural habitat of <laughs> The, like the national parks and everything like that there's so much to do so it's just something to think about but it's just like how beautiful the sun setting is it's just so nice but um yeah i'm just really excited uh hopefully i i tried to like i was texting with her the other day and i was like yo caitlin we should get drunk and do a q a and um i don't think she liked that idea she's she's pretty sophisticated you know i'm like kind of like a bump on a log and she's got like a nice job and really fancy but uh you know, hopefully I can get her a couple glasses of wine and, like, maybe catch her in, like, the act. And she's gonna be like, no. But it would be so funny, it really would, to have a little drunk Caitlin on here. Uh, but, um, yeah, but we're definitely gonna do a Q&A and we're gonna do, like, a painting session. And she said she wants to do a portrait of me, so I was thinking about it. And, um, I think I'm gonna do, like, I'm gonna just meditate while she's doing a portrait, portrait because... I, don't, I feel kind of like, I don't know, something, I'm just not socially a meditator, like, it's just kind of weird. I did, I do meditate with, like, my friend Amir, and, uh, that's fun, but, like, I don't know, I just get kind of weird, especially if I'm, like, staying at someone's house for, like, a week. I don't meditate for, like, a whole week, and, I mean, it really has an impact on my mood, and, I mean, I might not show that much, like, while I'm talking to somebody, or maybe not in my videos, but inside, I just feel tight. I feel like constricted. It's just, it's not a pleasant experience. And once I start meditating again, I'm just like, what was I so worried about? You know, like it's, it just minimalizes a lot of my problems. But uh, there's a nice farm coming up I want to show you. I hope you can see it. Isn't that nice? America! Ah! There it is. That was the farm. So, if you didn't see it when I was turning the camera around, that was it behind me right there. And you want to rewind it if you've never seen a farm before. But uh, I think this is what, ooh, this is so pretty. I think this is mostly what uh, Pennsylvania is all about. It's about that farm life. It's really pretty. I wonder what these mountains are. Like, if they're part of the Blue Ridge or they must be. I don't know. This mountain have its own, I mean, Pennsylvania has its own terrain of mountains. Oh, uh, man, it's so pretty. I think I'm just gonna drive until it gets dark, so probably like another, I mean, look at it. It's, it's setting, I don't know. So maybe about, uh, you know, a half an hour or more, and um, I'm probably gonna edit, you know, do some editing, and uh, you know, relax. I was hoping to get, she lived five hours away from me, so I was hoping to do half of it tonight and then half of it tomorrow. And uh, man, these house, some of these houses are huge. Like, this house right here has three stories, like, I mean, it's not like three stories. It's like a three-story wraparound balcony type house. Like, that's crazy. I think you can see it, like, in that background right there. I don't know. I've seen huge houses before, like, ones with, like, 
you know, like driving, parking lots and stuff like that. But this is like straight, like in the middle of nowhere, huge houses. It's a little different. I don't know. It reminds me of The Shining. Mm. But, um, I guess I'll, uh, oh, it's so pretty. I guess I'll just, uh, I'll hit you guys up later. Um, and have a good evening.